It's Sarah Say. Welcome back to the news, guys. Let's get right into it. All right, this is the first of two classes we're going to be talking about in this video. So, a lot of classes coming out. I guess they waited all year. They're like, eh, let's not release any classes all year. Let's wait till the end of the year. I mean, I think we got one earlier this year, but you know, it's been a long time since our last class came out. And this. Friday the 13th, the 15th anniversary of Adventure Quest. Not Adventure Quest Worlds, of course, it's only nine years old, but Adventure Quest. Uh, Mogawin class theme revealed. So this is the Mogawin 15th anniversary and Friday the 13th class. So it isn't going rare. Uh, you can see the armor here or the art for the class. Uh, it's definitely not the one that Baido is making. Um, I assumed it this could have been it I didn't think it honestly I didn't think it was gonna be the class design because it looks pretty nice and usually the class designs don't look that good if I'm being honest like they look okay like some of them are really cool but um most of them are not armors you would want to equip over some of the other armors you have that might be better not that the class designs are bad but I'm rambling so uh, this will be available for non-members if you want to farm it or you can buy it immediately for 2,000 adventure coins uh, Now it was confirmed by Elena to be a zero AC non-member for free storage So that's good news um, It is not rare so it unlike other birthday classes So Elena's excuse for it not being rare is that it's a birthday class a 15th anniversary class and a Friday the 13th Malgoween class so they're not going to make it rare and we're not going to get a well as far as we know so far we're not getting a rare birthday class this year like we would in previous years now i'm not upset by this i, I know some people are are not upset but like sad or whatever uh, about it being non-rare i don't think any classes in the game should be rare anything that affects gameplay in an mmo should never go rare it's kind of weird that previous classes have gone rare if they brought every previous class back and like, okay, the way that people got this originally back in 2012 or 2010, uh, that you can get that class the same way other people got it. Of course, I'm not talking about like uh, just redoing the art like they did with Vampire, the original Vampire class, which was just Rogue with uh, different art. Uh, like that can stay rare. Like the pink versions of classes can stay rare. Like that just the visual changes to classes can stay rare, but... Uh, if it's like a different class altogether, all the classes should stay in the game in my opinion. So I'm not upset that this is not rare. I th I'm actually pretty happy that they're making it a seasonal class. So we get another seasonal class every year to talk about uh, when it comes out. Maybe in the future when other classes are outperforming it, we can get it to be changed. Kind of like how they should have done to Naval Commander class this year. But we'll talk about that later in the news. Hey, on the same post that had the class, we have the... Event schedule for October. On the first, we have Ninth Upholder. The ninth year Adventure Quest comes out. There'll be Star Swords and other things like that, like we get with every Upholder. Uh, more Star Swords later in the episode. On the fourth of October, we have Taco Day. And you probably know what that is. Just a few a uh, few items in a taco shop. Not not a big deal. Uh, on the sixth, we got Magoween Event Hub returns. That's the weekly event for that week, I guess. And then. Uh, seven days later on the 13th we have Friday 13th the 15th anniversary event in Dracovia and of course that will bring this class along with I, I'm assuming a quest line uh, yeah but probably called the blood fang masquerade so on the 20th a week later we'll have the second part of this event right here and on the 27th we'll have the Mogoween event so I guess they're doing this is the Friday 13th event it starts on Friday 13th and it goes for two weeks and then, yeah, then we have the actual Valkyrie event for that year, which I don't know if that'll be related to this. Uh, probably not. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. But that's an interesting month for October. A lot of cool stuff coming out then. So that's all we have for the design notes. Now let's go over to Twitter and see what's been happening on the Twitter. All right, Elena's been uh, tweeting out some ice cream helmets earlier today on Thursday today. Um, banana split helmets. So. I thought it was a joke at first. I was like, okay, she's messing around with Photoshop. Uh, there's another hairstyle. Uh, same helmet, different hairstyle. And there it is on Elena's character page. <laughs> she, she works pretty fast with these helmets when someone makes a suggestion. Uh, someone suggested it. Uh, so, 
it's pretty cool and i guess we're gonna see this in game maybe i maybe she just made it for fun for her character i'm not sure but we probably see it in game and uh elena seems to like ice cream i don't know a lot of ice cream related items coming out into adventure quest we had that ice cream helmet that with the thousands of scoops of ice cream on the head now we got uh that helmet so that's interesting now i said we talk more about star swords uh, now, Doc here, Doc Brown AE, great username, uh, made some concepts of star swords that are paladin axes, which would go perfect with the paladin naval and obsidian paladin naval release this year. As you can see, you got paladin and obsidian paladin uh, star swords and mixed with like blinding light of destinies, which is a really cool design. Ari says it's really awesome, and Elena also replied to it. This is really cool. What a crazy, fun idea. So, we got two replies from AE staff on this so that could mean that they're considering that for the star swords for the upholder this year uh if you don't know what upholder is if you have membership in the month of october you get an upholder badge on your character page and also the star swords that come along with that which are usually themed or always i think they're always themed after the navels that release for talk like a pirate day so the more you know and those look really cool all right we got a few armors from Bido here uh there are a few different designs, some hairstyles for the armors and the armors themselves. These armors are actually really nice. I'm going to get them when they come out, if they come out, of course, uh, which they look like they will, are going to come out. And these are probably from Alguin, uh, one would assume. These are from Alguin. That's the CC uh, bandana and hairstyle, uh, full CC scarf combo. It looks very nice, and I can't wait to see these, hopefully, from Alguin this year. All right, I said we're going to talk about two classes, and two classes we are going to talk about. This is the second one, of course. We have the uh, Vampire class, and now a new Chronomancer. Of course, they're going to release another Chronomancer, another year, another Chronomancer class. And uh, Dave's just thinking about a rogue design for the Chronomancer. That's all the news we have on it uh, so far. We also have a few pieces of the calendar art, of course, if you don't know what a Chronomancer class is. Quick 10-second description. They release a calendar onto Hero Mart, their merchandise website, every year. And that calendar comes with a class and sometimes other items in their other Arctic Entertainment games. But a class for Adventure Quest Worlds is normally what comes out. It'd be really cool to see a Chronomancer class for AQ3D this year. We didn't get one last year with the Chronomancer stuff. So maybe for AQ3D we get a Chrono... I highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. It's very unlikely, but it'll be cool. Um, so... I guess we're doing a rogue version of the Chronomaster class this year. Now, uh, this is some art for the calendar, I would presume, assume. Uh, it looks pretty good. Dage vs. Nelgath art uh, looks nice. And uh, usually the calendar hints at future releases. So I'm not going to say we're going to get a Dage vs. Nelgath future release, but a lot of the community wants it, and that would be really sick. And uh, Krulong actually got to work on some of the calendar art also. Very nice. It looks very similar to Deja's art. It's very good. Very well done. Alright, some quick Talk Like a Pirate Day news to end off the episode. So here's what the bank pet for the Dragon King treasure chest looks like. Uh, it's, it's a flying bank pet, which I don't know if we had. And he's got a... I just noticed that he's got a hook for a claw. <laughs> it's great. Um, I don't know if we've had a flying bank pet before. Maybe we probably have, but yeah, it looks pretty cool and I'm going to get that because I already have the 10k chest. Uh, if you want to know if the 10k chest is worth it, I made a video on that, so check that out. Um, other than that, we have the actual bank pet, the, the rare one. Well, the other one, the last one, this one's going to be rare too. But, you know, this one's the one that you usually would come out and you don't need a 10k pet to get it. Uh, it's to be 2k, you see. And it's taller by quite a bit than your character, so... Uh, I think Elena says one of the biggest in-game items. So if you want one of the largest in-game items to ever be in Adventure Quest, 2k ACs is the price of that, and it is a bank pet. So it's pretty sick. Now, okay. I think this is the third week in a row we've talked about the Kaiju Naval Commander. Uh, yeah, that's a topic I love to talk about, of course. Uh, <laughs> so Elena here, uh, a lot of people presume the Kaiju Naval Commander would also be able to be purchased for 1.1k AC like a normal Naval Commander. Uh, but this one is not. You have to have. You have to. With no, uh, there's no way around it. You have to purchase the 2000 Adventure Coin class from, oh, it's not in there. 
Where where's the two uh, where's the shops feature it's not in the feature gear shop? What's in the feature gear shop? Oh well, that's like stuff from a month ago. Okay. Uh well you have to buy the naval commander class, which I'll show you where to buy it here, hopefully. Quibble shop. Right here. This one. You can't have this one. This one won't work. You need this in your inventory uh, to get the Kaiju Naval Commander. It's been confirmed. And uh, yeah, I'm not... Okay, so if you already have the Naval Commander class, it's a good deal because you already have the class. And if you want to sell it, you would only be able to sell it for a few ACs. Uh, if you And they also lock the class. So if you want it, let's say you want to buy it today and sell it tomorrow within 24 hours, get the Naval Commander armor and then sell the class back for 1800 ACs. You can't do that. Uh, they lock the class from selling. It won't be able to be sold until 24 hours after the Talk Look of Pirate Day event leaves. So there's no way you're going to be able to sell it back for the percentage of ACs, the high percent of ACs, 80%. So you're only going to get a few ACs back if you sell it. Is Naval Commander class worth it? I... My opinion is it's not. I've watched videos. I've read the um, skills. I've never actually used the class, and I probably will. Uh, we'll, I'll check it out. I'll make a video on it. I'll see my impressions of it, and I'll upload that before tomorrow. I'll do that today after I'm done this video. But is it worth it, really? I don't. A lot of people, from what I've read, I read on Reddit and a few people talking about it this week, a lot of people say it's one of the worst classes in the game for its price. Uh, like, comparing it to other classes of its era, uh, it's pretty bad. At one point, it had a haste glitch on it, uh, which would really, or was it a, a parry glitch? Some, a, a bug of some sort, not glitch, a bug of some sort on the class, which made it really good. Uh, but these days, it gets outclassed by almost every other class in the game. So, it's not... A very good class it needs a rework and if anyone from our entertainment is watching you should probably rework that class make it a bit better especially since a lot of people are going to be buying it and they're probably going to be upset with their purchase when they go to use it and it's not as good as a class that they could easily farm for right now in the game so that kind of sucks so uh that's a negative note and i'll leave on a positive note this is some art from lae and i want to include this at the end uh with maybe your favorite faction on it you know I think these are called uh, kimonos. I might be wrong. I probably am. I, I have no clue what they're called. But they look cool. And that hairstyle is pretty awesome. And uh, those are some uh, really cool art from... Some really cool art from LAE. And uh, yeah, check out his Twitter, by the way. He has a lot of really sick stuff on it. Like, check this out. Uh, I showed this in a previous news video. I think this looks better than most of the Legion art in the game. Or the Nation art. Than all Gath art in the game. This is just insane. The quality and detail on it is nuts so go check out his art i'll leave his twitter in the description hopefully uh so go check him out guys on twitter thanks for watching the news video guys leave a like if you liked it subscribe we do these videos each and every week where i go through and collect all the news i can find all the interesting news at least there's some small little things that don't really matter like there's some uh pallet and naval commander helmets coming out i could care less uh of course, you know, the Obsidian Paladin is coming out tomorrow and stuff like that. But that's just stuff that I really don't think even needs to be in the news video. It's so apparent that it's going to come out that I don't think I need to even put that in a news video. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys all next week on the news. And tomorrow we are streaming Talk Like a Pirate Day event part two, of course. I'll see you guys there. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good weekend. Peace.